Hao Mitakepi. This dictionary is an invaluable record of our language and culture, and I was very happy to contribute stories and words for the third edition. I grew up speaking Lakota. I find it very interesting to browse through this book and come across many words that I used to hear from my parents and grandparents. Such old words are important for our ability to continue to express our thoughts and deep meanings and do so through the cultural code embedded in our language. Equally important are new words so that our young people can use Lakota to talk about the contemporary world they live in. I have used other Lakota dictionaries in the past, but it is this dictionary that I find to be most comprehensive, user-friendly, and reliable. The layout, font colors, and the structure of the entries make looking up words very intuitive and easy. There is also an app that has advanced search functions and includes recordings of the words done by native speakers. I myself prefer the book version, but I also use the benefits of the app. The dictionary offers thousands of example sentences that illustrate how we native speakers use words in the Lakota language thought process. As a Lakota language teacher, I know that learning verb conjugation can be challenging for learners. And this is another reason to use this dictionary because it reliably shows the conjugation of every verb. Also, I have been teaching Lakota with the orthography used in this dictionary. And so I know from firsthand experience that it is very practical and effective in representing how we pronounce words. It helps the students to learn good pronunciation, which is key for expressing and understanding differences in meaning. This dictionary also provides the variations used by our Dakota relatives. And I think it is very interesting to see both the similarities and differences among our dialects. I am happy to see how many of us native speakers participated in documenting words and sentences in this dictionary because this resource will continue to help future generations of Lakota people to keep our language alive. I applaud everyone involved with the dictionary project, the elders who offered their time and shared stories and words, our young people who contributed comments on typos in the previous editions or recordings of their relatives. The IT specialists who helped develop the app version grant writers who found funding to support the work and the editor who provided the critically needed linguistic oversight. The dictionary resulting from this team effort is truly wonderful. It is a detailed record of our language that will continue to be a reliable source for generations to come. I would like to encourage all of our young people to actively engage in learning our beautiful language and to always be supportive of anyone who wants to learn. If you put your heart and your minds to it, you can learn our language. And by doing so, you will make both your ancestors and your descendants very happy. Richard Tudogs.